Uh, Coach, obviously, you know, first, you know, start to a season 2-0 and since 2018. Just, you know, what does it mean to get off to this type of start for this program this season for you Yeah, uh, I mean, I think today was great. I mean, we were able to get, you know, more plays into the game today. We're going to need them on Sundays and stuff as, as we get through the as we get through the season. So, solid three goals, three different goal scorers, no goals conceded. So, yeah, it's a really solid start for us. What did you think of the first half for the team? Did you feel like the energy there? Do you feel like you guys were a little lacking? What did you see? I, d I don't think the energy, we, we felt as though we were maybe a step off in terms of just overall quality. Um, just a little bit slow in terms of our speed of play. Um, Portland State did a really good job at shifting and blocking spaces and defending spaces and things like that. But we felt as though if we just kick things up a notch, just in terms of moving the ball around, we felt as though we could expose some things and, and break them. Being 2-0 and is a huge step forward compared to last year. Did you ever feel like your job security was ever in question under your tenure? Yeah, hey, you always do, right? I mean, this is Oregon with regards to that piece. So, uh, But it's sports, you know what I mean? And I think there's... There's a lot of successful coaches out there that have, have been in the same situation, you know what I mean, in terms of um, I've had, you know, big moments and, and job security's been there. So that's sports. That's what we accept when we go into it, you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, everyone gets fired at some point. So, was there ever any conversations around that? Not that I was aware of, so. Okay. You mentioned uh, players that had, didn't, you didn't see in the opener. Carly was one of them. Yeah. Can you talk about, you know, I'm sure – what she did out there scoring that goal was what you expected of it when uh, you were recruiting her. Yeah, she's a little magician, you know what I mean? And she really is. And so, um, you know, we, we felt as though just the, the way the game was set up on Thursday, the game went and we felt as though we had a bit more stability in terms of having um, Livy and McWhorter in there in terms of that piece and bringing Kenny in. And so, you know, Carly wants to play, you know, she's a competitor and that's the type of player she is. And so we knew today it would be a good game for us. The game started to open up and things like that. And, yeah, you saw it. I mean, especially in the first half, what Taylor and Taylor Pearson did is, you know, two first year players and being able to combine like that and kind of changed it for us on that right side. So proud of proud of both of them on that side. Speaking of Livy, obviously, it's been a long time for her to finally score her yeah. first goal, getting injured, obviously, her freshman year, yeah. and then finally getting her opportunity last year. What did it mean for you as a coach to see her finally get in the back of the net? It's awesome because she's a leader. You know what I mean? That's that's the thing about that. She's, she's a pure leader in, in terms of how she does things. She does things, you know, she does things, you know, she, you know, the right way. Um, and so to see her get those rewards, because she, she's worked extremely hard. And when you look at these long-term injuries, it takes it takes them over a year to come back. And, you know, for the first 10 games last year, she was under restricted minutes and things like that. So now she's fully hitting her stride. So really happy for her. Do you feel like after two games, you're seeing what you want to see right now, obviously this early in the season, or what do you feel like you still need to see from them? Yeah, I mean, you know, still a lot of new players in the group, you know, and so we obviously were able to put together a team for the spring that was that was able to do really, really well. And we decided that going into the season, you know, we kind of stuck with the majority of that team just to make sure we had some cohes he cohesiveness with regards to that piece. Um, but yeah, we're, we're starting to see some good things come out and a lot of good pieces that, you know, need fixing. And it's never bad to get them when you win in the game still where you can keep the teaching and keep teaching. What sort of confidence can just even a few game winning streak give for a young squad that's still gelling together? For sure, for sure. I mean, you know, I mean, when you look at the number of games we've got, we're not actually that young of a team. But I mean, yeah. I think we've got, you know, close to 700 games of experience in the team. So, so that piece alone gives us just a pure experience of it. And so as we continue to grow in it, I think you'll start to see more and more things come out in terms of what we want. Uh, Jade Sprague, I think she went on yeah. the crossbar, uh, made her debut. What can we expect of her this season? You know what? She, you know, just her high aerial, aerial ability. She plays simple. I mean, she was outstanding at Idaho. Um, we were really fortunate to, to grab her and stuff. And so, um, you know, we're in a different conference now that has different challenges and, and things like that. So we need different types of players. And, and Jade can really fulfill that role for us. And another leader as well. I mean, I think of the, the kids we recruited, I think seven were team captains. So, What were you seeing on that Libby Moore goal where she has it, gives it up, relocates, and then is able to, to slay it in the back of the net? Honestly, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> so I'd have to watch it back in terms of, couldn't really see a kick back out and it came back across. And, and, and so I uh, didn't, get a, didn't get a huge view on it as well.